here. Welcome back to another playthrough of Sonic and Jaguar. Now, if you couldn't notice, this is the Steam version. I said my emulators weren't working. It was getting a while before I made Scrap Brain, and I couldn't get a lot of the technical stuff to work. So, I decided to restart my playthrough. I bought Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, the two games I didn't already own on Steam. I decided to buy those. The official version make it work better. It's a lot easier to get emulation. And I feel like this will be a lot more fun. Restarting. I can get the footage better, play a little better without it lagging all the time, hopefully. Of course I'm already messing up. It's okay, I got some rings. We get the chaos of rings. anything about Sonic knows about Green Hill Zone. If you don't know Green Hill Zone, then what are you doing here? If you accidentally clicked on this video. Well, here's how Sonic works. You run fast, you jump into robots, you put this link to keep yourself alive, and you beat up a fat scientist. That's basically how the game works. Uh, if you get 50 rings at the end of the stage, you can jump into a big ring, get uh, chaos or these beautiful gems. Again, there's only six, and every other main series console game, there's seven. Although on the handhelds, there are six for a while on there. And then, see the spin off, one of the spin offs, I know for sure there's eight. And Sonic the Fighters. And yes, I know about the mobile game being ported to PC, but I decided to. Not only is it authentic, but also I don't know how to, you know, get those working on PC. Took me a while to get my Genesis controller, my Genesis Mini controller, which I'm really upset that they didn't make six button versions over here in the States. Is I don't live in Japan. So I can't actually get the really cool six button controllers. Which also means I will not be. like doing that, it's fun to mess around with fast forwarding, get the game real fast. I was gonna do an entire run like that. Um, is we are on our second special stage, is Psychedelic. Um, Palace? I don't know where we are. Is this, uh, so, are we on Earth? Because, I'm told there's two worlds in the Sonic Universe, kind of like in Sonic X, the TV show. Like, a little more from that, kind of, maybe? Where Sonic and friends travel between the two worlds. I don't know how they do that. Because sometimes there's humans, and sometimes there's anthropomorphic animals, like Sonic and his friends, just like in Forces there was. But sometimes there's human beings. But there hasn't been a human being in a Sonic game since 2008. Dang. Oh, there's a second emerald, the yellow one. I should be able to get them all this time. I don't know what I was doing last time. Emulator. Emulators. I, I can't find any good ones. If you got any good ones, I want to tell you about them. Because I'm not very good at finding stuff. And my internet's also pretty bad, so... That might have been another factor. But anyway. Uh, here we are at the boss stage. Third act is now... Uh, signpost. Boss. Oh yeah, that's right. Here we go. Here's 
jump cool that you couldn't do with the Christian Warrior version and beat him before he even gets his freaking ball out. So this is Mr. Dr. Eggman. She's not... I mean, it's, it's a pretty challenging first boss. It's the first time ever playing the game. But Invincible really totally makes him useless. You literally can't do anything. Anyway, so I've also decided that I'm gonna do two zones per at, two, two zones per video. So I will we'll also be doing purple zone. And I'm gonna be re-uploading my entire playthrough today, not just this video, because I want to get to Sonic CD very soon. But I'm gonna be going to my grandma's for Easter, so I won't be able to do it this weekend. But I don't have school today or next Monday. So I should be able to record then. And then after school I can do one video per day. So I'd like to get Sonic CD finished by next week, Friday. I can maybe do it. I'm starting a new term at school, so I'm gonna get all new classes, probably a lot of homework. It's fine, it's totally a cool. I'm gonna see if I can record on a weekly basis. At least two videos a week should be good, unless it's a special occasion. Like during the summer, I can definitely put out more videos, no school. But I also get burned out really easily. Like, I get in this mood where I want to make videos, but that mood doesn't last for the entire playthrough, which is why it took so long, you know, to get Scrap right now, which is why I never did it. And it's why it took me so long to even restart my playthrough. I, I have to think about it for a while. In fact, I even tried to record Scrap Brain earlier the, this month, and it didn't work. Uh, I swear recorded, but I, like, lost the files. They got corrupted or something. I don't know. Oh! I lose my shield. I get hit after I lose my shield. I lose my rings. But yeah, I'm hoping to record a lot more often. And if you guys want to see streams, I can probably stream as well. I get one stream out in two videos a week. That should be enough content. But during the summer, I can probably get a lot more done. Ooh, this is a difficult one. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I hate the third special. The third one is the only one I ever have trouble with. Fourth, fifth, I can do this one's perfectly fine. Sixth one's the easiest out of the six. Well, maybe the first one. Still. Incredibly easy, the sixth one. I have no clue why it's so easy. It just, it just is. Okay. And it makes no sense. Oh no, it's the scary part. You gotta run away from the lava. Oh no. No, it's not. Oh, what the heck. That's some bull crap right there. I'm thinking maybe I could stream this game and do a kill every bad nick run. Or to kill every single bad nick. I absolutely do that. Yes, I do that. But that might be fun. Save all the animals in the level. Save as many as I can. But that would definitely be after I beat forces, mania, and stuff like that. I definitely need that extra life. As you've seen, I'm not very good at this game, of course. Tell me, do you think emulation was a better idea? I could barely hear the music. Awful. It 
is hard to set up for me, personally. And videos probably wouldn't be getting out as fast. Plus, I don't even think there's any emulations for Sonic CD that are very good. Especially when I own the Christian Whitehead version, which is the best version to play that game. In fact, it's the only version of that game you should play. All the versions, you, you can barely play. Oh my gosh, am I just. Am I mentally. Oh my gosh. I'm like retarded. What am I doing over here? I don't even know why I'm getting drinking right now. I'm, I definitely don't have enough to. I messed it up. Oh my gosh. You know, this shield would have been way useful earlier. When I was being stupid. Oh my gosh! That was scary. Ah, oh, screw you, Lobby. You can't burn me now. Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Uh, I will be doing Spring Yard and Labyrinth later today. And then I will be doing Starlight. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. No, Act 3. Um, used to Sonic 2. I've been playing a lot of Sonic 2 recently. My mistake. Ignore me, I'm being stupid again. So, here we go. Back in the Marble Zone. Marble Zone's not that bad. Honestly, I should be talking a little bit more. But I actually really enjoy Marble Zone. Marble Zone is pretty fun. I don't know why I took the slow route. I'll just give you a shield. And now I gotta wait for it. I can actually start Sonic CD today. Get Home Street Panic done. For uh, Sonic CD, I'm gonna be doing one zone per video. Yeah, one zone. Whoa. That was weird. For, totally forgot I was in Act 3. Oh my goodness. See, this is weird. I don't, I don't like the three acts. The Sonic CD, the boss acts are so short. Like, this is an entire level. There, it's like, you get a few rings. Yeah. You fight, there's like one or two enemies. Are you joking? No! I've never fallen there, like ever. Maybe the first ever time I played. Well, actually, the first time I ever played, I could get past uh, Marble Zone too. So. Oh my gosh! I'm like so dumb. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Oh no! I don't like how the screen at moment like automatically follows him. Like in the other games, you have to look down for or, or look up down or look up for quite a while before the screen shifts. This game is instant. That's your life. Smack that. Now this part, I actually did get to this when I was younger, and I could never beat it. It was always the worst of the level. I never beat this level. I never even got to the boss when I was younger. Like, the first time I ever made it to this zone, I literally couldn't beat it for so long. And I finally did it, and then I hit that spike and went flying backwards, and died. It was awful. Go, Doctor Robot Nick. Oh no! Yeah, take that. One hit, you got me. It's whatever. Okay, 
Okay, so now that's it for my Sunk Dead Shop 1. Episode 1. Let's see again, sis. So I'll see you guys later today in the next episode of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, where we will be playing Spring Yard and Labyrinth, and we will be going on to Starlight and Scrap Green and finishing the, finishing the game. So I got three more videos coming out today. Don't expect four videos a day. That's totally... No, that can't happen. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll see you guys then.